His Excellency President Jacob Zuma has on record... It was perhaps the tone of South Africa's warm congratulations that had caused some surprise. But at a press briefing on Tuesday, the country's foreign minister insisted her government's stance merely reflected that of the Southern African development community. South Africa has responded to the outcome of elections and congratulated the president of Zimbabwe, the people of Zimbabwe, for having conducted a peaceful election. All observers agreed that this has been the most peaceful election, which is one big ingredient for a good outcome of an election. Diplomatic cracks are beginning to show. The U.S. has branded the election deeply flawed. Former colonial master Britain has expressed concerns about a lack of reforms before the vote. And Australia has gone one further. It's calling for a rerun. The European Union, though, remains more cautious. And uh, we are not taking uh, a position on the, uh, on the measures uh, yet, I would say. Let, let's see how the situation evolves. And uh, there, there will be the, the assessment and the response of the European Union. We have been re-engaging re with the government of, of Zimbabwe for the last three years. And now a possible split within the SADC bloc. Botswana wants the poll audited. It had 80 poll observers in Zimbabwe, and they concluded that conditions for free and fair elections were not met because of widespread irregularities. But one former diplomat says mounting criticism is unlikely to make much difference. I think it will just be uh, seen as rhetoric and, and it will have no effect at all. Uh, you know, uh, Tsongarai didn't exactly shine in various aspects of the way, way he conducted this campaign. And uh, it was, therefore, I don't think he has a great deal of credibility himself. Sadig itself has not yet ruled on the credibility of this vote, but many observers predict Robert Mugabe's 33 years in power will be extended. Now this vote does seem to have dug up those differences we've all seen before within Zimbabwe, between regional partners and of course between North and South as well. But it is essentially SADC that holds the most sway on this issue and if that's the case, the final outcome of this election is beginning to look increasingly inevitable. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Johannesburg.